Hello and welcome to Crutchfield Live, everybody. It's, uh, it's your host, JR. I'm the training manager here at Crutchfield, uh, joined with a co-host today, Abby. 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 More on, more on Abby yeah, later. Abby, Why, I'm Abby. It Hi. seems like we're not sure what to call her. That's because we're not. Uh, we're going <laughs> to need your help with that here in a minute. Uh, but welcome back. This is episode number 15 of Crutchfield Live. Uh, we're here every two weeks. And if you've been watching through the last few shows, you know we are about to close our sweepstakes for SVS subwoofers. Ooh. Two of them. Two SVS Micro 3000 subs are going to be going to a lucky winner at the end of today's show. Technically, the sweepstakes are still open. You can still enter those sweepstakes if you haven't already. There's gonna be a link in the comments, right, everybody? We're putting a link in the comments. Uh, so you can follow that link if you haven't entered already uh, to get your name into the hat to be, uh, to be drawn. We're gonna be picking one random winner during today's show and towards the end, we will announce the lucky winner. Yes. Pretty excited. You were here the last time that we announced a winner of a sweepstakes. I did. I was uh, one of two lucky individuals to be able to do the announcement while the team did some uh, fanfare stuff in the background. Right. We're going to blow things up today. We're going to do it again. And we're going to celebrate big time because it's a pretty cool prize. Uh, also, towards the end of the show, we'll tell you what we're giving away or kind of what we're giving away in the next sweepstakes. So we're gonna keep doing that. We are having so much fun giving some of our coolest stuff away to people that are watching our Crutchfield Live. Yes, of course, we're shamelessly trying to get more people to watch. So you should tell people, tell your friends, uh, and uh, and help us grow this thing because we're having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and, uh, and you should also comment and ask us questions and yes. interact with us uh, because that is, that's what makes this the most fun. And I can see we're already getting a ton of people commenting live in the chat awesome. like already before we even started. A whole bunch of shout outs. Josh says, good luck everyone. Susan Daniel Steele says, hello. Retro VHS is back. Hello, hope everyone is doing well today. Aaron Robbins says, aloha. <laughs> Aaron, we've got your question from the uh, other video. We're gonna be answering that here later when we get into our mailbag segment. Uh, Brian Becker, hello from Wichita, Kansas. Scott, good day from New York. Good day. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Lizard King, 998, hi from Indiana. Uh, Aaron is from Coos Bay, Oregon. Brian, I uh, hope today is my lucky day. I hope so too, Brian, mm -hmm. and stick with us. If uh, if the winner of today's uh, uh, sweepstakes giveaway for the SVS subs is watching, please stick with us. We'd love to hear from you after you win and maybe find out what you're going to do with the subs. Uh, let's see, who else we got here? A bunch of people. Alonzo, uh, hello from New Jersey. Bruce, SVS and Crutchfield, two great companies. Couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Uh, hey, JR and Abby. Now, he spelled it A-B-B-E-Y, so that's, uh, we're, we're adding again, the we're, we're going to get back to that. True Dark Majin, I don't know, just a big old smiley face. Facebook isn't working, says Box Boxkerp. We, kn we know that, and we're working on it, so we've just got you YouTube folks here right now. Apparently, Facebook will be coming in shortly, hopefully. Uh, two micros would be major, says Brian. Cool, what else we got? I like Tim. that as a phrase. Two, two, two micros would be major? Two micros would be, two micros make a major. It sounds like a musical theory thing, doesn't it? Does. It does, yes. And don't forget, two micros make a major. Two no. micros make a major. Beato. Uh, <laughs> Tim Wheelock says, good luck everyone from Anchorage. Rob Hawk, we're all going to get nuked by Putin. Oh, all right, we'll just move on from that. Uh, hello from BC, Canada. Hello from New Hampshire. Austin, Texas in the house. You guys need an SVS lighted sign on your shelf behind you. I think I think you're right. I think we should. Uh, it's That would be awesome. So SVS, if you're listening, send us a lighted sign. We'll put it maybe in here or in the other set somewhere in the video stuff. Uh, cool. So, bunch of people watching. Thank you, everybody that's here. Um, let's talk about Abby for a second. Oh, okay. Before we get into the agenda for the rest of the show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we actually have a poll question. And the reason we have a poll question that is all Abby-centered is because uh, you notice we're calling her Abby. And she's been on the show before, and sometimes we call her Dylan. Yeah. And sometimes we call you Abby. Yes. You want to tell us why there's a reason? Like, what, what's the deal? Why do you have two names? I'm volleyballing with my name back and forth. So, okay, I'll tell you. Um, short version is, last year when I uh, joined the sales advisor team, they were basically to, to be not confusing and just to, to have a, a easy to remember set of uh, sales advisors, we want to make sure we don't double up in names. We, there's a lot of us. And uh, there, there already was an Abby. Abby is my name. Um, 
And so I had to pick a different name for the phone, you know, phone name we call them. And so I went with Dylan, um, which by the way, after I picked Dylan, I learned that. That is Drew Barrymore's oh. character's name in Charlie's Angels. I thought that was cool. That's awesome. Yes, but JR, should you say this part? So basically I've been in the sales advisor group with that phone name for the last year. Wait, but, what, wait, why did you choose Dylan? You didn't choose it because of Drew Barrymore. You just found that out afterwards. I found that out after. So. How did you choose Dylan as your phone name? Well, it basically, like, okay, so actually I was, I was getting some ideas from another advisor, Theo, um, and uh, she had thrown that out there. I was like, I like that one. We were kind of considering it around the same time. And then basically during training, it was time to take my first couple of phone calls. And I, um, I kind of just had to pick because I hadn't decided. So I was like, uh, Dylan, D Y L A N was kind of has a rhythm to it and seems easy to, to remember and to say, and to be, you know, understood on the phone. Yeah. So I, it was just an in the moment thing. Nice. A good phone name is something that is easily understood, easily heard, yep. not confused with other names, uh, easy to say. Yep. You don't mind saying it and going by that name. Right. Uh, it's nice if there's some sort of pop culture reference, Dylan, like Bob Dylan. Uh, did you have to say that? Oh, so to when I did chat interactions, that was my intro line almost every time. Hi, my name is Dylan, like Bob Dylan, drop the Bob in parentheses. <laughs> I had to. Drop the Bob. Drop the Bob. I love it. Uh, so, so it kind of worked as a phone name. Yeah. But uh, starting in like a week or something, you're not going to need a phone name. Yeah. Right? Because you are no longer going to be an advisor. So if you are looking to buy products and talk to Dylan, your chances and time to do that is running out fast. Yeah. Uh, because uh, what are you going to what are you going to be doing instead? So, so excited um, to be joining the team here that uh, within the umbrella of the creative department here at Crutchfield. Um, so. All of you guys, all the team that's producing these lives, but specifically, I will be working on um, social media, um, so just content of all kinds and, and um, having a handle on that, and then also doing some more stuff with video. So basically, the, the stuff that I love to do um, uh, on, on my own as like a hobby, and then here, yeah. I get to now do full time. I want to come back to that. I do have an interruption real quick because I'm seeing a question in the YouTube chat that I need some. Uh, I need the peanut gallery to comment to tell me what should we do. But they're asking what the code word is, right? Now we gave the code word in the last episode, and the kind of the whole deal with the code word. Again, we're we're shamelessly trying to get more people to watch Crutchfield Live, watch. and uh, <laughs> watching last episode. One of the payoffs for that was getting a code word where you got an extra 25 entries into the drawing. We got four minutes left in this drawing. Are we giving the code word or are we gonna make them go find it in the old video? They don't have time. They don't, they don't have, time. have time. What do you think? The thumbs oh, up means what? Give them the code word? Last ditch effort. Last ditch effort. Give them. Okay, so those of you watching right now, if you didn't get the code word in the, oh, look at that. It's on the screen. Yeah. We've given them the code word. SVS rocks. Go enter that. You got a couple minutes left to get those extra entries. That's your reward for being with us right now, sticking with us, uh, is you get the code word. So uh, go enter that and get yourself some extra entries. And they only had a few minutes left. Yeah, so oh yeah. Sorry I Good call. I no, no. Yeah. Get them in. Yes, for sure. Hey, excellent. We're looking live on Facebook now as well. Welcome to the Facebook folks. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you've got any questions, you've got like three minutes left to enter our sweepstakes for the three, the two SVS Micro 3000 subwoofers. There's the code word. There's the link in the chat, link in the comments on Facebook. Is that going up? Yep, good deal. So if you're uh, if you're not entered yet, you literally have like three minutes to get entered into this drawing. We will be announcing the winner live later in this broadcast. Yes. All right. I think we cleaned that up. Yes. Now we know why your name is Abby. Yes. We know why we've been calling you Dylan sometimes. Yes. Uh, and we know that we no longer need to call you Dylan. Right. Uh, but. As, been, as is the case around here, we, we have a lot of people with phone names, which means I know a lot of people, and sometimes I call them by their phone name, sometimes I call them by their real name. Mm -hmm. My real name is not JR, it's Adam, but people just call me JR. It's, a, it's kind of confusing what to call people, yeah. and yours is maybe the most confusing one yet. So <laughs> that is today's poll question. Uh, you, the viewer, what do you think we should call Abby? And we've got four choices for you. Abby, spelled the right way, yes. which is? A-B-B-Y. Dylan, spelled? D-Y-L-A-N. Then we've got Abby spelled incorrectly, but the way a lot of people spell it, probably, for some reason? Yeah, we've had A-B-I floating around here a lot. 
And we're, and we're limited to four choices, and we had several other options to go with on the fourth choice. Um, and we somehow accidentally, or maybe on purpose, combined Dylan and Abby into Dabby. Yeah. Uh, and so Dabby is a pot. We all seem to like it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an attractive sound it rolls, name. It also rolls off the tongue. Dab is within it. It's adorable. I mean, yeah. Dabby, right? Dabby. So, it's like Dabby, uh, but with an A. So those are the four uh, choices you have. Uh, we're not necessarily going to call her whatever your choice is, uh, but we are interested in what you think. Uh, honestly, we didn't have a poll question, and then we thought, hey, that's a good one. Uh, so Abby, Dylan, Abby, or Dabby. That's, Abby, uh, Dylan, Abby, or Dabby. Even that just said, that should be all of it. Abby, Dylan, Abby, Dabby. Abby, Dylan, Abby, Dabby. say it over and over and over again. It's pretty <laughs> great. Yes, tell me. Tell me what I should be called. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me get that off my screen. What else we got here? We got the code word done. Uh, it's, it's 414. You got one minute left to get into the SVS. Uh, Alonzo, will the sub work with Ambio? Ambio is the Sennheiser Atmos uh, soundbar that does have a subwoofer output. So yes. can you use those SVS subs with the Ambio? Yes, you can. Woo. Awesome. So SVS does rock. It's a code word and a true statement. Sweet. Uh, it says, some, somebody says it says invalid code word. I don't know. It's too late to help you there. It's 414. Uh, yeah. uh, it seems like every YouTube reviewer says SVS has the best subs. They must be really good. Yeah, there's a reason for that. Yeah. Absolutely, for sure. Uh, let's see. Why not drop the Bob as a name? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name. If I'm a DJ, Drop yeah. the Bob. This is my co-host, Drop the Bob. Hi, I'm Drop the Bob, and we're about to drop the bass. I'm Sheath Bean. This is Drop the Bob. <laughs> so. the... Oh, my gosh. You got me, JR. You weren't expecting you, you that, spent... were you? Uh, I think Dylan is super cool. I like Abby. How, did you, how do you get in SVS? Link's in the comments, and it's 415, so you might be out of time. <laughs> Uh, Harmon Carden, are they making a comeback? We're going to use that as a segue into what are we talking about in the rest of this, uh, the rest of this show. Uh, the rest of today's show, it's uh, last week was our last show was all about SBS because we were right in the heart in the, of the of the SBS um, uh, sweepstakes. But uh, yeah. as we close that out, we just we had something really cool happen at Crutchfield, uh, which was for the first time since the whole pandemic started. We had an in-person training put on by a vendor. And this is something that normally happens twice a week throughout most of the year. Kenwood, Pioneer, Sony, uh, Onkyo, Home, you know, every company we sell, mm -hmm. they're here. Uh, they come here sometimes more than once a year for an, uh, an hour-long training session that all of our advisors will get to sit through. They'll get to listen to products ask questions of the trainer, learn about these things. Uh, and we haven't been able to do that in person. It's all been on the internet over, you know, Zoom or Teams or whatever. And, and so we haven't had an in-person day. Right. And uh, as things have been getting better, the pandemic's clearly not over, but it's been getting better to the point where we can have an outdoor event, open air, uh, plenty of social distancing, mm -hmm. and JBL, they came to play. Oh, yeah. They did. Yeah, so a JBL or Harmon demo, demo day. We call it Harmon, and this is what sparked this. Somebody asked in the uh, the chat, is Harmon Carden making a comeback? Well, Harmon is like the parent company for JBL, mm -hmm. uh, as well as several other brands, Infinity, for example, and Harmon Carden. Uh, they are, and they are owned, Harmon is owned by Samsung. So this was a kind of a big deal. Yeah. Uh, and they sent, oh, yeah, we're good. We're seeing some video of it now. This is, uh, this is everybody outside enjoying some party boxes, we had a trailer hooked up to a Jeep. That's what's on your screen now with subs and JBL speakers. That's the JBL Encore party box. Uh, what else we got? There's some more stuff. I mean, so much stuff. Oh, yeah. It was you, really fun. You were there. What did you What did you like most that you saw at the uh, the JBL demo day? Oh, my gosh. It was like an audio carnival with just a lot of orange nice. and JBL logos. It was fantastic. It was really well put together, as, as you're seeing on the screen now. There wasn't just one booth and one section of items. There was there was an RV parked in the, the parking lot that had a whole surround home theater surround system. Uh, hopefully, you get to see a shot of that. Um, that the, I got to actually experience that one. I got to I had a limited amount of time, but I got to sit down and watch a, a, a shot of um, what is it? Hey, there's the, my dog. Oh, there's Scherzer. There's Scherzer. Hey, pal. Um, but uh, what was it? Um, the Top Gun? This is called... Um... Top Gun. Uh, well, this was the original Top Gun that we yeah. were watching on a TV mounted to the side of a RV uh, that had a, a JBL 9.1 surround sound bar. Yes. Uh, so the sound bar, the sub, and then two speakers behind you. They're battery powered, yes. so they're perfect. 
Uh, and we had a Dolby Atmos movie experience. We did. Sitting in lawn chairs next to an RV. We did. And it would, that's not, see, here's something that I love. I've come to really appreciate and learn about JBL speakers and their just full array, uh, array of products is there's no, some might say uh, of ser a seriously Atmos experience from a soundbar, yeah, whatever. Well, there's no gimmicks. Um, so anyway, as I mentioned, I had to, I, I got to sit down and experience that setup um, and it's a, uh, it, it was incredible. I mean, really, I was hearing the separation. Of course, we got the two surrounds, the wireless battery powered surrounds on either side, R super immersive, super, of course, you know, Top Gun, that's going to be fun yeah. to listen to. But that was, that was my favorite experience. That's the, that's actually the one demo station that I got to be a part of uh, for a few minutes, but saw a bunch of other incredible stuff. Um, they also gave away the coolest sunglasses ever. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I thought it, I had noticed it got a little dimmer. You were, you were wondering why this cool this show just got like way cooler, uh, and that that's probably why. what's cooler so. than being cool wearing these sunglasses ice during Crutchfield Live and being ice cold. <laughs> uh, right. We have a comment on Facebook. Anoop says, "My brother-in-law is called Abby A B H I for short." So there's a whole new possibility for you that you hadn't probably considered. An H also. Yeah. An yeah. Abby. Uh, all right. Cool. So. So yeah, so more about the demo day. Uh, so we had this JBL 9.1 soundboard, Atmos, sitting outside an RV. That yeah. was awesome. Uh, the trailer attached to a Jeep, fully loaded with stuff. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorites was a pickup truck. Uh, in the back seat, it was a big old like crew cab F-150. Yeah. In the back seat, under the back seat, they had installed these JBL Fuse subwoofers. Are you familiar with those at all? Uh, uh, yes, I am familiar, although I had not experienced or handled them. I did, I wound up taking a picture of that one because um, I was like, this is cool, I want to show my friends. Yeah, do, uh, Landon, I sent you a video from CES a few years ago. You didn't happen to get that, or I sent it to Anna, She and I suggested, I'm guessing we're not going to have that clip ready to go. Uh, I might have missed that one. Okay, I'm going to pull it up on my screen here just so we can see what this sub is all about, and I'll just tell people about the embarrassing thing I did on Crutchfield Live years ago at CES. So uh, I'm pulling it up on the screen now if you want to get that loaded up so people can see it, Landon. Uh, there we go. So this is, a, this is a neat sub, right? It's like two pieces that you yeah. can either have together as one mounted uh, and it would look something like this, yes. right? Or you can separate it out into two separate pieces and then mount them separately in different places. Mm -hmm. And having subs mounted in multiple places in your vehicle increases the chances that bass is gonna sound better everywhere yes. in the vehicle. Absolutely. And in the back of this F-150, they had like four of these JBL Fuse, which means eight or four different, eight totally separate pieces yes. mounted in different places to totally spread the bass out. And the bass sounded tight. Oh yeah. I mean, it was punchy. It sounded awesome. Um, when I first saw this, it was at CES in Vegas. We were at JBL's booth, and I had them uh, in my hand, live on Crutchfield Live, uh, showing them like this, and then I was gonna take them apart to show how you could take them uh -huh. apart, and I dropped them right there live, uh, and no. it was, yeah, uh, we, had a, we had fun with that. The, um, the, they didn't break, they're, they're nice go, and durable. Oh good, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Are they're, they weatherproof? <laughs> yeah, right, you can totally drop them and yeah. they'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, so that was one of my favorite demos at the demo day was the truck. I don't yeah. know if Lane has got any uh, video of the truck with the subs in the back. I think there was a clip when, when I just Yeah, okay cool, we might have some pics too, I don't know. Uh, but are we gonna roll any more video from that or are we done with that? I, I'd say we queue it up again. Maybe if you if you just got the one clip, let's queue it up again, and uh, and this time we'll pay closer attention and maybe narrate what we're seeing in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got to mention the food trucks. You know, they they're worth a mention. Well, absolutely, double food truck, two food two, truck. Two food day. trucks. We had choices. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a it was a block party. That's another sure. benefit of those in person vendor trainings that we haven't gotten in the last two years is uh, free food. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. So this is a table full of like all of the Bluetooth speakers. You can see the RV in that one. There's the party box uh, table. That's the back of a trailer loaded with uh, all of these different JBL and Infinity speakers. Party box, party box, uh, some speakers. Those are the really nice ones. There's the Jeep. 
The F-150, we gotta come around to the F-150. I'm hoping we see these. Oh, that's right, the, the Bluetooth speaker with the click. Mm -hmm. That click is awesome. I love it. I think, there's the F-150, hey. and those are the fuse subs right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, that, there's, there's four of those facing one way, another four facing another way. Yes. Uh, that was what, uh, one of the things that was impressed me the most, and it's a very reasonably priced uh, JBL Fuse subwoofer, so. We had folks doing the raffle there with the tickets. We got, we had some, they, yeah, JBL was doing it all, giving away stuff, uh, demoing stuff, and we were eating and having a good time. There's Scherzer again. So the reason we do these demo days and the reason we're hopefully going to get to do more of them again soon is so that our advisors have a ton of hands-on, in-person experience with our products. Yep. Uh, it's been tough to do that during the, uh, during the pandemic, and uh, it's something we have always done in the past. Uh, we certainly try to do it whenever we have the opportunity. Yeah. So big shout out to JBL for bringing the party uh, to oh, Crutchfield. Yeah. We have two call centers. They did it here in Charlottesville. They're going to do it again in our Southwest Virginia Good. contact center. Uh, here we go. We got some pictures. There's the F-150. There's a bunch of people. They had this Mercedes that was outfitted with stuff. There we yeah. go. Oh, that's me and there, Happy. Oh, no, that, that's not me. <laughs> but that's, the, that's the TV with the JBL 9.1 sound bar. That's Dabby. Dabby was there. Dabby. <laughs> uh, oh, that's Huffy over there. Um, yeah. We had a, who, who won that stuff, by the way, we you know? Uh, I know that a lot of the newest sales advisors won. Oh, well, good. Yeah, which is good because they actually helped out like that day. Like they helped out setting the stuff up. They were unboxing all of those JBL Bluetooth yeah. speakers and they worked their butts off that day, yeah. helping set up and then tear down after the rain. Oh yeah. Uh, so they, uh, yeah, they, they got rewarded for their work good. for sure. Good, good, good. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. We got some stuff coming in. Scott Bode says cool shades. So oh, yeah. thank you, Scott. Time Appreciate it. Uh, AV Rob 79. Wow. That's interesting. I'd like to hear how it sounds. Uh, I wonder how their real world extension is for being so small. Uh, I'm thinking Josh, I don't see previous ones. Uh, oh, Josh said, I think Dylan is super cool. Thank you, Josh. No mention of Josh, me being Josh. cool, but okay. Thank you, Josh. Uh, Retro VHS, I think this is super cool. Didn't even know these existed. Aaron says, I've got a couple of underseat subs for my Tacoma, but I haven't installed them yet. Nice. So, yeah, you're talking about the Fuse subs. Very good. Uh, so, yeah, JBL Demo Day, and uh, it was fantastic. Uh, let's go from that right into this here, uh, which is the JBL Party Box. Um, we Even without the Demo Day, you were, like, planning on talking about the Party Box. Oh, yeah. Either way. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Tell uh, us about it. Tell Which party box did you like take home and have some experience with? So I have, party boxes and I go way back. Um, wow. Actually, <laughs> no, they started, you I thought she was cool. She's very I'm cool. Extremely. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna keep the shades on during this I section. I think you should. Um, yeah, so I actually, I think uh, party boxes were introduced about a year, year and a half ago. Um, and as different iterations of them started to be released by JBL, um, toward the end of my time at our retail store, I started with Crutchfield at our, at our local retail store here, um, <coughs> I got really excited about the JBL Party Box on the go. Maybe some of you know which are aware of that one. Um, we don't carry it now, but we used to carry it. But basically, it's, it's, it's a, a different type, you know, it's a different size, different shape, but one of those that JBL released had a strap on it so that you could take it out to the beach or on a picnic or at a just just easy easily portable um, but anyway I set up basically at the retail store I got really pumped about it and I decided I was like I'm always hearing about people looking for the right karaoke solution because karaoke is becoming more popular yeah did you know I did know yes we've had we've been getting calls from people that want to do karaoke for years yeah the minute we picked up what we call pro audio pro audio is like the name of a group of products that's all for like PA systems for a band that yeah. plays music in a in a grungy dive bar, right? You need a PA, you need powered monitors, you need uh, you need a mixing board, you need microphones and cables and all of that stuff. So we started carrying that about six or seven years ago now, uh, and people started calling saying, "Awesome, you sell microphones. I already bought a home theater receiver from you. I want to do karaoke on my home theater." Oh yeah. And, uh, and we had to help them understand why that's not always a great idea to do that. Uh, but now, instead of just telling them, no, don't do that, we got way better options. Oh, yeah. Oh, when yeah. We do karaoke, we got gotcha. you. Uh, we totally got gotcha. you. And so I was real excited to just put that on display. And so I made a whole, like, karaoke, like, there was a, 
marquee, not marquee, but like a, a light frame with some yep. of our Philips Hue lighting of a karaoke poster, like this is where you're gonna perform. And we, we actually had people demo it a little bit. Nobody ever, I, I offered like five bucks to the first person who would actually sing and uh, and actually demo it for real, but they didn't, but they tried it. But that's what these types of, like these smaller JBL party boxes, like now that you can use your phone to, to pull up a karaoke song easily on uh, like YouTube or whatever, yep. you just prop that up somewhere, get yourself one of these and you got, you got karaoke rolling. Yeah, some of the party boxes even have like a place to put your iPad so yeah. that you can watch a karaoke video, of which there are millions on YouTube. Oh, yes. Uh, every song. There's like a karaoke version of every oh, song. Oh, yes. Uh, with the lyrics and everything, all you need is a way to sing uh, and hear and, and you know play the music and stuff. And this, these do that. Yes. Like all these party boxes make that easy to hook up a microphone to it. Uh, you can go wired in. You can go wireless. You can Bluetooth music from your iPad, your phone, whatever. And boom, you've got karaoke. Plus... And I mean, come on. Right? I mean, really. It lights up? Yeah, it lights up. It it changes forms. Yeah, you got different lights like to choose from here. Let's see. It just changed it to. That's flow. This is rock. This is ripple. This is flash. When the music starts, it'll start like. Is it? Does it flash? I think it pulses, sort of. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. It flashes with the sound. <laughs> we do have this hooked up. In case you, there we go. Uh, what if we change it back to cross? I think we all like cross the best, right? It was kind of chill. There it is. Yeah. Chill vibes. Yeah. Well, I like what it does when I go, yeah. <laughs> Me too. That. I need to turn that yeah. off. I'm going to be in, I'm gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So you uh, you took a, not this exact model home, right? But you took the on the go, which is, a f is that right? Well, actually, so on the go is what I set up at the retail store. Oh, that's but okay. just yeah. two weeks ago, I had this one. Oh, you, this is the one you took. This home. is the one, yeah. Um, which I had a, a, a an engagement party, and it was a you know big decent group of people in a big area, and it was well sufficient volume and especially bass wise. Yeah. And, uh, and then we then of course we ended up doing karaoke later, and we used it as the uh, speaker for it. So announcements? Did you do some karaoke and? Stuff like that. Oh yeah, like I it was a yeah. party. Yeah, I got I got pulled in to do the very first song, so we had to do the icebreaker. What's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, you want to know? I was dying, dying to tell you. Um, <laughs> actually, no, seriously, because I because I can perform this one and be ridiculous and sort of break the ice. Because you know, some people get nervous. They're like they want to do it, but they're not used to being on a microphone. So I always do, of course, you know, achy breaky heart. Oh, okay. Yeah, by what's his name? Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus. You know, Miley's dad. You know, Miley's dad. Yeah. Oh, her? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, I, hey, you break your heart because, I mean, me and Billy Ray Cyrus, obviously, we look a lot alike and sound a lot alike. So, it just seemed obvious that, you know, it's just fun to perform. And then usually people are kind of like maybe, well, at least in my imagination, more warmed <laughs> up yeah. and ready to go. Because you want people to sing. Uh, we, we can't, we're not allowed to sing songs here on this show, are we? Like, we're going to violate some, some, oh, yeah. some lawyers going to be upset with us for doing that, probably. Yeah. yeah, probably shouldn't have even mentioned the title. You could say the title. Achy, but I, think it's, I think it's when you actually get the heart. melody going, that's when we get into trouble because we didn't pay for the rights for that. So, uh, yeah, Josh says, Hannah Montana's Pappy. Or <laughs> 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 uh, Pappy. Uh, Brian Becker, uh, I like you, buddy. Brian Becker said, now that's a radio voice. It is. Right? Oh, yes. Uh, Miley's dad, LOL, Hannah Montana's Pappy. Uh, Daniel... Kyra, uh, Cry, I think I got that. Uh, Go-to song, Bust a Move. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Bust a Move. Yeah, very nice. Again, I gotta turn that off. Well, hold on, hold on. You wanna do it? Josh, you wanna circle back to that Dylan is, uh, Abby is cool comment. You're confused I, about what to call yourself. I don't even know. This is why we have the poll question, everybody. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> Dylan, uh, wow. So there's a whole bunch of these different party boxes uh, that you have to choose from, uh, all different shapes and sizes, some of them battery powered, some of them not battery powered, but huge. Uh, and they are found on our website in a couple different places. Yeah. They sort of, like the big ones especially, uh, feel like they're pro audio products. The Party Box 1000 is a beast. Uh, it's taller than it looks in this mm -hmm. picture. Let's see if we can get some perspective. Does that one, that one gives you a better idea just how big this thing is. Huge speakers, tons of power. This thing, 
and you can pair them up so you have multiple together. Yeah. This thing is the party. Like actual DJs could use this. Yep. Uh, and it's they got do. like a touchpad on top for sound effects. You got microphone inputs, music from your phone, from your computer, whatever. Uh, and it also just lives in the the Bluetooth speakers section of our website. Yeah. Because it's simple. Like it's so easy. And you don't have to be in pro audio or know how to hook up a mixer or anything to do that. Yep. Uh, and this, this Encore that we have here on the table is just a really small battery powered version of that. And uh, I mean, you can do cool things, right? It doesn't have the touchpad on top, but it does do fun stuff. Like we're gonna do this now. I should have, yeah. Like you can, yeah, couple. right? You got some sound effects you can play. Uh, if you want to scare your cats. <laughs> That's not the most scary Just dog. have him fall asleep right in front of it. Yeah. Be real relaxed. Yeah. And all of a sudden, whoo! Yeah, put it, put it, yeah. Cat jumps in the air. <laughs> uh, so you got sound effects and it's all easily done from the app. Uh, you can hook up the mic. You can hook up, uh, JBL has a $100 like set of dual wireless mics yeah. that can plug right into the back here. You really can have a karaoke party with oh, the yes. party box. Uh, and there's a, a bunch of di uh, different shapes and sizes, so you can get the right party box for you. But uh, how many watts is that 1,000? The 1,000 is how many watts? You want to take a guess? I'll take guesses. Want to let people guess in the comments? Yeah, let's do that. Take a guess. I'll scroll down. Don't Google it. We know you could Google it uh, or Crutchfield it. Uh, but uh, how much power do you think is in this JBL Party Box 1,000? Yeah. I think if I scroll down, we'll have the answer. Anybody want to comment first? Uh, you're seeing links to the party boxes in the chat. That's pretty cool. Um, that is, by the way, is more, is like waist high. Yeah. For no, me. it's super tall. And I'm like four foot two, so <laughs> I'm not. Wait, so it's really tall or is it not really tall? No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see how you react. No, but it's, yeah, I'm, a, I guess, average tall or something. But, um, yeah, it's big. The party box makes my little JBL charge look small. Uh, and that's from Brian Becker. Like a little bean? Somebody from the Huffman family says one million dollars. I don't know why. We didn't ask for a price. Uh, don't know, what, don't know what they're doing. Yeah, Dark, one know. million dollars. One thousand right. watts. <laughs> uh, Daniel Kyrostex says a thousand watts. AV Rob 79, 250. The Lizard King 998 says 400 watts. Those are the guesses coming in. We're gonna roll with it. Uh, let's scroll down and see what we're talking about here. 1100 watts. Ooh. Daniel Christ, uh, Christ, Christosec. I'm going to get the name right. And I'm sorry if I've butchered it, but the answer, you were the closest without going over, which is like price of right rules. Yeah. Oh, so, so they win. Daniel, Daniel wins. Winner. Yeah. Well done, Daniel. Um, it's not a prize. It's that it's not a giveaway. There's no free party box in it, but you do have bragging rights. Yep. Uh, over over uh, Van Gool and the Lizard King and AV Rob and all those that came behind you. So uh, good job. Uh, yeah, thousand twelve eleven hundred watts of power yeah. on a Bluetooth speaker with a microphone and karaoke. That's dangerous. Uh, yes. Right. You can really really annoy your neighbors with that. Oh yeah, like that's that's actually like get in trouble level. And not to mention that, you know, I don't remember the exact size of the woofers that are built into that thing, but that thing kicks in terms of bass. Like, it's, you almost, it just depends on what you're listening to, but, like, you can you can dial it down if you need to, but, man, I'm talking or brain can, rattleage. Or you can dial it up. You can dial it up. Here we've got some uh, customer reviews. Uh, I love, this is my favorite part of the Crutchfield website, is that, Customers can submit pictures, and they've been. This has been around for a couple years now. We're getting tons of pictures of products, and so here's. I, I have not pre-screened these. Hopefully, they're awesome pictures. Uh, but this first one gives you an idea of just how big it is, right next oh, to this yeah. tiny little dog statue and this it's lava rock, lamp. or whatever that is. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but it looks pretty awesome it next does. to the TV. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Same same party box, different lights. Ooh, I like that angle. That's our photo, right? Yep. Oh, look, it's Jeff, our oh, headphone Jeff. guy. And then Jeff. And there's no party box in that picture, so I'm not sure why it's there. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, there's oh, look. two party boxes. This, a smaller one, that's like, what, the 510 and the 710, and then the, the 1000? Yep. Looks like it. Somebody's using it when they play guitar. Makes sense. Cool. So there's our customer oh. review pictures. Side note, <clears throat> speaking of, you can plug in your guitar, and then, of course, 
you mentioned, JR, that there are, there's, there's a wireless JBL microphone system that you can get, I think, as an accessory for all of these. Yep. Either, of course, you can also line in their, their um, wired microphone. Also, though, if you, if you pick any XLR to quarter inch wired microphone in our like, pro audio uh, section, for example, those will work too. So you could plug uh, any mic with the XLR to quarter inch into the mic input, but you can also do it with the guitar input as long as it's not the JBL mic. As long as it's not the wired JBL mic, I experimented with this at the retail store when I was working with the setup. And yes, in fact, you can go with any quarter inch connector, wired microphone, not JBL, and it'll work. So you can actually do like, for example, one of their wireless microphones, the JBL wireless microphones plus two wired microphones, and you can have a trio of singers in your karaoke party. You've just uh, added that much more fun to the karaoke yes. party. Yes, yes you have. Uh, m multiple microphones. Yes. Give everybody a mic. Give everybody a mic. Let's sing Aladdin. Uh, or let's see, somebody else here said, uh, who let the dogs out? That's another good one. That's a great one. That's a, that's a group sing. Brian says, did it just say it's a guitar amp too? Yeah, it can be a guitar amp. You could absolutely plug your guitar directly into it. Now, would a guitar purist want to do that? Probably not, right? It's got some processing. It's designed to kind of sound like a big speaker system, not a pure flat response right. guitar amp, right? Uh, so you might want something, that, but you could you? take this out and play a gig with it? Absolutely. Uh, play your guitar, hook up the mic, and a singer-songwriter person could absolutely go do yeah, a gig like that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, Josh wants to go with A Whole New World there. So That's Aladdin, the so you exact said Aladdin. one. Josh, yes. we are on the same wavelength today, pal. Does the app have an equalizer? This is a question I can answer. Uh, let's see, I had to reopen the phone. App is coming up. Uh, I don't know if we can get this on the camera, but I can show you. It's got a very basic EQ on it. Uh, so let's see, which camera is it? This one? So closer to my face go. to keep it in focus. You gonna go on this one? All right, we're coming in. We're gonna zoom in everybody or something. We're gonna do something, but there's an EQ uh, and it's live. So you can make adjustments, you know, right there on the fly. Uh, Basically just mid, bass, and treble, right? Uh, there's also bass boost right here. So I've got deep and I've got punchy as an option for how how I want to boost the bass. Mm -hmm. uh, and so and then a three band EQ. So you're you're adjusting bass, mids, and treble. Yeah. Uh, and then you can choose the color. You can control your Bluetooth music right here from the app. Uh, you can go into the karaoke effects section, uh, and you've got bass and treble for the mic input alone, as well as uh, you can add echo. Yes. Let's hear what that sounds like. Let's hear it. You, you talk. Oh. I'll control it. Uh, I don't know if I turn it on. Check. Here. All right. So this is no echo. No echo. Flat. This is right in the middle. This is right in the middle. <laughs> this is all the echo. And this is I Can Show You the World by Jasmine. Ready? Can, can you count me in? I'm just yeah. kidding, I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, right. It gets quite echoey. Yeah, so you probably don't want that much. No, that's a little much. Somewhere, Somewhere right in the center. middle. I want to do that radio voice thing, but I can't. I'm limited. You could do it. I could try. Here, I'll, I'll jack the bass up here for you. Oh, 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 wow. That right. actually comes through. I don't know if that, that sounds like yeah, it does so here. Turn the bass up right here, so. Yeah. Well. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> nice. I like that. <laughs> I'm putting it down because I'm turning into a creep. That <laughs> That's what happens. I'm yeah. telling you. I get you. Uh, so there you go. So I hope that answers your question. Lizard King 999. We've got some questions coming in on Facebook. Does it come with a mute button for my tone deaf brother? <laughs> If you could squeeze in and hit the power button, yeah, in the mic does have a, a power button on the mic. That's awesome. uh, but he wants to know if the app has a mute button. So like, I don't think so. So so uh, Bradley says uh, it wants to know if he's sitting on his couch and his tone deaf brother is singing into the mic, can he mute it from the app? You can. You can. You can do that. Absolutely. Uh, should we test that now that we're going to do this again? Yeah, should I get right, creepy let me get, again? I'm getting the app going again, uh, and y y you can't sing a copyrighted song. No, I'm not going to do that. But while you're talking, we'll pretend you are the tone-deaf brother uh, who can't sing. And let's see, right where can I do that? Uh, should be able to... You asked a question? I, I thought I needed the answer. On. All right. 
I know we're mic'd up, but somehow I feel powerful holding this mic. You should. A little bit different than the mic hanging above our heads here. So this volume, I don't think... Keep talking. All right. No, that was, that's just the volume of the Bluetooth music that I'm not actually playing right now. Uh, button settings, what do we got there? No. I think the answer actually might be no. I, think, yeah. I don't see a mute button here in the app. So you're, tone, you're going to have to physically stop your tone deaf brother from singing. Sorry, Bradley. Uh, but it does not have a mute button. Well, there's a pretty robust power button right Yeah, there. you're going to have to go to the speaker itself. Yeah. Uh, maybe you sit close to the speaker in case he gets on yeah. the mic. Yeah. William said those box, those party boxes are cool. Uh, Bradley says, party box? Should have built a keg cooler with that name. Well, I'll tell you, the party side, shout out to our old friend, party box on the go. That strap that I mentioned it has, uh, there is a can opener. I mean, a bottle opener yes. on the strap. Yeah. Right? It was like made for going to the beach. Oh, yeah. And, and having. And it's, you know, the weather resistance and all that. I was, I was so excited about that. Embarrassingly so. Embarrassingly so. <laughs> uh, very cool. So if you couldn't tell, we are fans of the Party Box. Uh, a lot of you are as well. And uh, it's, it's absolutely one of the most fun products oh, yeah. that we sell. And uh, you can do a lot with it. So when. I think where I was hopefully going with this is when customers call that want to do karaoke and they want to do it in a way that combines pro audio and their home theater receiver and their stereos at home, there's reasons not to do that. Yep. Uh, because the dynamics of a pro audio mic combined with uh, your consumer level home audio gear really don't mix well. And you could blow speakers. Uh, it's just not ready for that. These products are. Just get a party box yep. and you're done. That and a couple microphones and it's not hard to get karaoke going. Uh, and uh, don't try to do it on your home theater. It's just not a good idea. So. Yeah, I agree. 100%. And, and Portable, you don't need to. battery powered, a lot of these are. Not all of them, but some of them. So you can get hours of battery life. I could just go on and on. Yeah, we could. These. Uh, let's see here. We've got, uh, we're going to move on to our next segment. We got a couple questions. We put a video out a couple days ago, a mailbag, uh, type of request. Uh, Hey, you got any questions? We'd love to answer them on the show. Uh, we didn't get a ton, uh, but we've got a few questions. Uh, Aaron, who is, we know I've seen you on the chat today. You're watching. Uh, this is your question. I have heard that it is possible to add an amp to an AVR or an AV receiver, also known as a home theater receiver. I've heard it's possible to add an amp to an AVR to reduce the load on the AVR. Uh, so just in, for those that might not understand what that means, right? And home theater receiver generally powers anywhere from five to like 11 speakers. Yep. Uh, so your center channel, fronts, surround, surround backs, overhead speakers. Uh, and that, that one box has to power all those speakers in most cases which is a lot of work. Yeah. It's a lot of yes. channels of amplifier power. Yes. And uh, so he's talking about reducing the load on the AVR by using a separate amplifier to power some of those speakers. Uh, so he's heard that that's possible. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, Aaron says, I have a second AVR that I'm not using. So I'm wondering, is it possible to use two AVRs together to, re to reduce the load on just one? What do you think? Well, if you had that, if you had a customer like call and say, "Hey, can I do this?" What would you tell them? Well, number one question would be, let's find out if your first AVR has a preamp output, um, so that which is not necessarily only dedicated to like a zone B, but a true preamp output, so that you could connect any other amplifier or any other uh, I don't know, device is not the right word, but you know, piece of gear that would then power speakers via just regular speaker terminal. So that's the main criteria, is does your AVR number one have that preamp output available? And if right. so... So before you yeah. go to step two, this is what that looks like. If you're looking, like, so Aaron, I think you already have a home theater receiver, but if you're looking for a home theater receiver that could do this, mm -hmm. what you'd be looking for is multi-channel preamp outputs. If I select that, then all the home theater receivers on this list, yes. I could go to the back panel of any of them. I'm just gonna pick this Yamaha, and this the back panel of this, if you're not used to uh, you know some pretty sweet home theater receiver gear, could be intimidating. Uh, we're gonna, oh, this one is not so bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, can you zoom in a little bit? These are preamp outputs for front channel, surround, center channel, sub, surround back which means not only can you power speakers by the amp that's built in here with yep. these speaker level outputs down at the bottom,
but you can also send out that same signal. The stuff that's supposed to go to your front speakers, you can send it to a separate amp that then powers your front speakers with a lot more power. Yes. So that's a very doable thing on yes. a lot of receivers. Uh, Aaron's question is, can I do it with another receiver? Right. So now we know this is one piece of the puzzle. Preamp outputs on one receiver. What do you need on the second receiver to make this possible? Well, you need to have, of course, um, a set of companion inputs. Um, so I don't see that. I don't know of any AVR that doesn't have analog inputs, right? But yeah, it depends, right? If you just need them for just say your front speakers, you could use any set of inputs on any receiver, yeah. really. A yeah. two-channel stereo receiver, home theater receiver. If it's got you know a CD input, aux input, any of those would work for just sending the right sounds to two speakers. Uh, and there's another uh, option as well. Let me go back up here. I got too far down. That's a good, yeah. that's a fantastic question. That, by the way, side note, I get this a lot um, as a sales advisor, uh, but usually how I phrase it is the more you can quote unquote unburden your main processor, if you will, or home theater AVR, yeah. the processing portion of that uh, piece of gear, the, the, the better the overall sound output is going to be yep. in your system. If, and you can use any set of analog RCA ins for this. If, however, you have a receiver that has a multi-channel analog input, you could use this for any of the channels, right? So if you don't have that, that feature I just clicked on here on the website, multi-channel analog in, if you don't have that, then you really are kind of limited to doing this with just your front speakers. Right. Uh, could you shoehorn it in and do it another way? Yes, but it makes sense to do it for your front speakers. They're probably your biggest speakers. Yes. They'll need the most power, and you might have a better amplifier than the, your, your home theater receiver. But if you have multi-channel analog ins, uh, literally the back of any of these receivers, there's not only preamp outputs for every channel, there's also preamp inputs for every channel so that you can send the audio from uh, any source into it for those channels. So uh, those are your pre-outs right here. These are your 7.1 channel ins right here. So. Yeah, uh, there's no reason you can't do it on most home theater receivers. If you have this, you can take it to the next level yes. even. Yeah, that's a fantastic question. Yeah, and uh, I hope we made sense of that for Aaron as well as anybody else watching. Let's see here. Uh, Aaron, how about a Crutchfield Beach Party was the last thing Aaron oh, yeah. just commented. Uh, what if I'm a horrible singer? Will this thing make me sound like Michael Bublé? He's too back <laughs> to talking about this. Probably more like Richard Marks. They're having their own fun here oh, in yeah, the chat, good, apparently. Good. Keep uh, it coming. So, uh, oh, apparently, I randomly picked some guy's receiver, like Daniel uh, Kritos, Christ, gosh, I'm not going to say this name right, and I'm sure you're used to it, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel Christ Christosic. Christosic. Christosic? Christosic? Christosic. Put it in the chat. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, thank, I didn't see you, it Daniel. all. Daniel. Oh, that's what this other thing means when he wrote Christo sick. Christo -sick. Christo sick. That was your. You, I bet you've done that before, haven't you, Daniel? Yeah. You've had to kind of. Absolutely. Yes. Um, thank you for that, Daniel. So uh, apparently, I picked one of his receivers. One of these, the, either the Marantz or the uh, Yamaha, was his. So. Cool. Chris Lilly says you two are pretty smart. So. We're getting Chris? great shout outs. Uh, keep watching everybody and thank you for doing all this uh, and for being part of what we're doing here today. Let me see if we've got anything on Facebook. Uh, we're good there. All right. Thank you. I got the name. Daniel. Awesome. All right. So uh, that was one mailbag question. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, that was the only one that came in on that video. Uh, but there was another question that I thought was interesting. Um, you know, we haven't talked much about car stuff today. We talked a little bit about the JBL demo days. Mm -hmm. Um, but one customer or one, one person on looking at one of our videos said, his name is Angel Garcia, says, Hello, I'm hoping you can help me out. I'm looking for this for my Durango, but it tells me that I, I need one with iData Link. Mm. Meaning he's looking for a car stereo right. for his Dodge Durango. Uh, and it, uh, our website tells him he needs to get one with an, an iData Link. Can yes. you explain what that is, please? Fantastic question. Common question. Yeah, very common. And yes. becoming more common yes, every it day. Is. Yes, absolutely. What would you I, tell him? Well, the reason it's becoming more common is because these uh, you know, factory radio systems are getting smarter and smarter or they can they can process more, they're more more capable. There's a lot of computing going on. Sometimes there's uh, integration within the, the factory HVAC system going on. There's all sorts of little factors, a lot of information um, in newer cars and trucks. So um, 
that's to, to build the framework around the answer, which is um, if, you're, if our website's showing that your car requires an iData link ready stereo, first of all, we do have a filter for that, which I use very frequently. Um, so you can find, go in our panel of filters, and you can find where it says iData link capable or ready. Some, I can't remember which word, but, um, but that is, uh, it's gonna pare down the selections of stereos that one will fit in your dash and two that have the iData link port on the back or the input on the back. What's important about using, uh, going with our recommendation there is that you've got to be able, your, your factory information system essentially, the brain, um, has to be trans, all that data has to be translated properly through an iData link interface to the language that the aftermarket system speaks. So, so far, what we've, I think pretty much what's out there, iData link tends to be the most capable um, to, to translate if uh, whatever can be translated and retained to an aftermarket system. Um, so that's a little bit longer answer, but short yeah. answer is unless you lose most or, uh, uh, of your factory features or the, the, factor, the aftermarket system won't work at all, um, you, you are, I mean, you basically have to use an iData link system. Yeah, uh, I had to do that in my Subaru when I replaced my stereo with the Sony. Uh, I have the one with the big flat panel touchscreen on it. Uh, and for the Subaru like uh, stuff to keep working, I can see like my tire pressure monitors yeah. on my, the screen of my radio. I can see gauges. Uh, my car's happy even though there's a new radio in there because that iData link bridges that gap uh, in a very digital, very computery sort of way. Yes. Uh, so that my Sony talks to the Subaru computers and the Subaru computers talk to yes. the Sony. And if you use a radio that doesn't have that, you can probably still get it installed and probably still listen to music, but there's gonna be things in your car that just don't work anymore. Right. Uh, and generally speaking, people don't like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, or, or just stuff that works, but not in the way it should. Right. Um, yeah, you, you get, there's a lot of loss if you don't follow that recommendation, so I found. Yeah. Um, cool. So that's the mailbag section for today. Uh, I see some other stuff going on in the chat. I want to clear something up. Bryant Battle, Battle says, how do I go about winning one of those subs? Uh, if you didn't enter already into the SVS sweepstakes, I'm sorry, Bryant, Bryant you have missed that one. Uh, and uh, there's mention of a code word. I just want to clear up. The code word was last episode. The, the sweepstakes are over. It is, it is closed. We are tabulating the results and randomly picking a winner, which we will have soon. Yes. So in like in the next 10 minutes, we're gonna be we're gonna have that name. So we're gonna find out who wins the two SVS Micro 3000 subs here within about 10 minutes. Uh, oh gosh, we just got the poll results. Oh, we did. I just got the YouTube. What am I going to be called? We got 50 votes. That's a lot of 50 votes. 50 votes. That's a lot of votes. They had a lot of people weighing in on old uh, Debbie. Tied for fourth place, two names got only seven percent of the votes. Okay. Tied for third, I guess technically. Dylan and Abby Abi. Okay. Those are wow. the, the least popular options. Abby is still in the race. Third place or second place, runner up, Dabby. Okay. With only 28%, 56% of the people think you should go by your actual name. My act, well, bless you. I think that's awesome. My actual name. Yes. I get to have it back. Now that's on YouTube. Okay. Oh, Now I've got another. the Facebook okay. poll All results. Right. All right. Uh, Dabby fared even better there, 32%. <laughs> Um, Dylan and Abby spelled A-B-I still far behind, yeah, um, but once again, the winner, your real name, Abby. Well, I am privileged and grateful <laughs> to once again be called my <laughs> given name, Abby, A-B-B-Y. A-B-B-Y, that is her name. We get to call her that. Thank you, everybody. For uh, the, th the thank you, I think you gave us the name she was hoping for. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, you know, Dabby really had something to it, something special. But I'm like Abby; it's a little bit more simple. And if your mom's anything like mine, she doesn't like that I have a phone name. Like she doesn't like that I go by Jr. Now. Yeah. Uh, she's like, I named you Adam for a reason. Yeah, that's you right. Know? So right. she she'd be happier. But now I'm gonna. I mean, I wonder how many months it's gonna take me. To stop, to stop calling referring your... to myself as Dylan or, or starting to type <laughs> D-Y-L in an email. Yeah. You know, like, and then, well, it's probably just going to happen. It will. I don't think you could, at this point, turn around. Uh, no. How many years have you been, no, JR? Uh, 26. Yeah. Yeah. I've been Dylan for one, so it's more like ripping off a Band-Aid for me. You. Yeah, it's no, this practically is, this your is me. This is my, this is, it I, is your identity. I, I think of myself as JR Of now. course. I think in JR. I, I was going to say, <laughs> do you think in JR or Adam? <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly right. Same page. Yeah. Love it. Um, cool. Uh, we got one left, one thing kind of left to do before we announce the winners and announce the next sweepstakes, uh, which are Crutchfield hashtags. Uh, we love it when people go on social media and tag us yes. and put pictures up uh, to show us how they're like. It's kind of like those customer reviews where they put pictures on our on our website. Uh, these are just out there in the wild, and we love to look at them to show them off, to celebrate what they've purchased and installed yeah. and are showing the world uh, and react. And for the most part, we haven't seen these pictures yet, so who knows what we're going to see. There's our first. Blind react? Great. Okay. Al Alpine single din CD player head unit in the dash of a Camaro. That fits in snug. That looks really good. Oh, Tight. yeah. That nice looks job with yep. the install. Well done. Do we see, is there a name attached to that? I can't read anything on that, so <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what it says. Well, if there's anything I need in. to read and I can't, somebody should tell me, but. Uh, I can't read it either. So. Okay. Kevin? It's Kevin and his Camaro. Nice one, Kevin. I want to see the, uh, the custom uh, shift knob. Yeah. I like it. Uh, oh, is that, a, look, at, hey, look at the yeah. bottom. Do you see the, the eject, eject button? There's yes. an eject button on <laughs> That's this. That's awesome. That's awesome. I am digging that. I Very cool. I love it. I love it. Sweet, Kevin. I think that Alpine goes well with the Camaro. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, interestingly enough, most of our car stereo conversations seem to be like double dins and screens and car plays and equalizers and yeah. all this stuff. Uh, but this, this feels just, just right. Like, oh, yeah. it's just a simple... Easy to use, easy to, it just looks perfect yep. uh, with nothing super fancy in there. So. I like it. Well yeah, done, good Kevin. Choice. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, they got the, uh, that's an, that's a uh, distribution block and a fuse holder. They got it all nailed down or, or That's a Crutchfield down. amplifier wiring kit the wiring right there. Wiring kit, I like that. With that's the an Infinity. Infinity amp. Wait, how many channels on that guy? Can't tell. There's multiple amps in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm also digging the uh, the ABS plastic sort of platform I like that, that a they lot. clearly custom my, uh, modified to be uh, a really nice looking install. That's yeah. real pro right there. Uh, well done. Is this uh, does this this one say five star stereo anywhere in there? No, I saw I did get to see one or two of these earlier, and one of them uh, hashtagged us as well as five star stereo. Dean and Fernando, those guys do some really cool install videos that uh, we actually use. We watch some of those oh, cool. in training. Good. So they're very cool. Awesome. Uh, but that looks like the type of board that they would yeah. create where you've mounted stuff and it's, uh, it's got its own space. Looks great. Nice job with the install. Yes. Okay. Once again, nice job with the install. Dual 10? Uh, Tens? Tens or twelves. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of trunk space it's taken yeah. up, but it looks tight because they've built that nice they built, baffle see, board on the. Do you front. see where um, there's sort of two notches in the trunk floor? Yes, that, that down at the bottom just corners. Fits just snug right around. Yep. Glove fits it back there. I love that. With the, that, that's going to be loud too with that porthole in the front. I also like that both subs are mounted equally, sort of skewed a little bit, right? Like the see how the logo on the, the, oh, on the yeah, speaker. Oh yeah, I see it's that. It's not exactly. Hor perfectly uh -huh. horizontal. It's the exact same amount of Kinda skewed. Like, That's pretty tight. I and, like that. And the uh, the backwards firing port uh, looks great. Yeah, this is a great install. Nice Digging install. It. Yeah. Ooh. Woo! Hello. Look at that, baby. I see some Bowers and Wilkins. I see some Klipsch. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. I a... like the angle. That is a good photo. Yeah, well from the done. floor with the vinyl on the bottom yes. picture there. I can't tell what the amps and stuff. That, are, I see but... Fleetwood Mac. One of those albums is oh, Fleetwood uh, Mac. It's, uh, yeah. Um, rumors? I have the same on Rumors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm digging this. Uh, and in that comment, I, I read this comment earlier. This person, uh, some of these speakers have not yet been placed where they go. There's more There's more speakers than you can see in this picture. Some of them are already installed in the back of the room. I so like it. Uh, I, I am digging this. This is a great, and, and I think they're even going to use that wall as the projector screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, which is pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what that says in that comment right there. If you can read it, awesome. All right. Uh, but uh, I, I would say that is a great way to start. Big projector, big home theater system. Uh, maybe at some point you would put a screen in there if you want an even better sort of more pristine looking picture yeah. uh, than just the wall. But if it looks great on the wall, go for it. That's awesome. Very nice. Okay. Floating screens. Yeah. Big yeah. one. And that looks, it's a Jeep, I think, right? Uh... It looks very Jeepish. Yeah, it does look Jeepish. And that's, that's a huge screen in a Jeep. That's a big screen. I think what we're looking at is the BE-10. Yeah, the boss. Uh, yeah, I think that's the BE-10. Um, and it has, what one of the things that I get co a lot of comments on about these boss systems is they've got the real brilliant screen, but that center knob, volume knob, that a lot of folks prefer. 
Yeah. Um, and that's just sometimes that's the deciding factor. It is, uh, and when, when companies make big floating screen touchscreen radios that don't have a volume knob, they hear about it. We hear about it. People uh, are very vocal about their love of a large volume knob. It's yeah. very tactile, uh, and it's, it's important to people. Yeah. And so Boss gets that, and it's on that big screen, and that thing looks awesome. I like the, the wires being run through the bottom pocket there. Good job. This looks like a not quite yet installed picture, right? Uh, it looks like that's the factory radio there. So the factory radio's out. And that single din chassis yeah. in the bottom half is that like the single din? Is that's oh that's from the Jeep? That's that's oh, oh, what's installed. Yeah, that's okay. the factory radio from that Jeep nice. replaced by that. That's the chassis of the radio that's installed in the in the dash. Now. Awesome. And then there's all your wiring to go with it. Excellent. Okay. Oh, so here's this, this is prep work here, getting it all laid out. I like it. So this would be a, this is a different one now. This is yeah, this is an example of the stuff you get yeah. uh, usually at a pretty good discount when you buy your radio from mm -hmm. Crutchfield and all the install gear, some sort of physical mounting kit. Uh, there's usually some wiring harnesses. Sometimes we'll put the harness together for you. Sometimes you get those little connectors. Yep. Uh, but yeah, this is a great one, sort of not yet installed picture. What else we got? Oh right. Phoenix Gold. Boy, I haven't heard that name in a long time. We used to sell Phoenix Gold. Awesome. Yeah. That was before my time. It was. It's Yeah. And it was kind of short-lived. I'm not sure what the current status of Phoenix Gold is as an electronics amplifier company, but they were pretty pretty awesome there for a while. Nice. We sold Phoenix Gold uh, wires as well as amplifiers and some speakers and stuff, I think. Uh, so that takes me back a little bit. Uh, more stuff that you get in the box, some kicker speakers, some mm -hmm. wiring harnesses, mm -hmm. some installation instructions and support. Um, awesome. I like that. Bowers and Wilkins bookshelf speakers. Uh, you got a CD up there. Yeah, what does that say on the CD? Can somebody read that? Tuck up, tuck up. It's pretty. What does that say? It's a, I saw this earlier. It's a fun name to say. Can you read the picture? Anybody help me out? What's it say? Can't tell. We just want to know what you're listening to. Yeah, what music are you playing on these Bowers and Wilkins speakers? Tell us. Look at, look at them. Taka Patty? Tuck up. Tuck and Patty, Tuck that's and it. That's what I saw. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember. my old pals. Tuck you know, and Patty. Tuck and Patty. How could I? We just had we casseroles. Tell last Tuck week. and Patty, Dabby says hi. Yeah, well, they might know me as my other name. Oh, right. Which is A B H I. Drab Drabagale, and it has an H in it. Drabagale. Yeah. There's an H in there. There's three, actually. Uh, if you uh, hashtag Crutchfield, anything you buy from us, and, uh, we, and put it on social media, we would love uh, for you to do that. We will pay attention, and we'll go handpick the best ones uh, and, and react to them live here uh, on Crutchfield Live. It's one of the most fun things we do. Um, but Aaron Robbins got it. He says, Tuck and Patty? Yes. Tuck and Patty. Uh, they were also picking up on the Fleetwood Mac. Yes. Uh, what else we got here? Josh says, uh, volume knob is essential plus 10 horsepower. <laughs> if you don't have a volume knob, you have nothing. You have nothing. That's how important, I'm telling you, people love their I volume know, knobs. I know, I know, uh, I understand. Very cool. So, also, I'm sorry, no, I wanted go ahead. to mention one thing. We, If you put, if you like post a, uh, some photos of your work on, on Instagram, for example, we'll, we'll repost those in our stories, right? And so, and everybody loves an Instagram shout out. I do. Yeah. Um, so every time you anything, Crutchfield, you could even screenshot looking at the website. But if you shout us out, we'll probably shout you back. Just letting you know. That was what I wanted to say. I, think, I, love, the, I love the engagement. It's so fun. And that's part of what you're going to be doing now, right? Is deal, oh, yeah. doing that some of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be one of the people that looks for those and finds opportunities for us to talk about them on live mm -hmm, and put mm -hmm. them in videos. And yes. that's awesome. I think we're almost there, right? We're almost, it's just about Ooh. time. Uh, Getting all I've, excited I've again. Got, I've got the sound effects ready. Should I talk, should I say this into yes, the mic? Yes, absolutely. With 100%. the DJ voice? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, all right, we're Are getting we ready. Are we talking winners? Everybody watch, uh, we, yeah, we, uh, I think we have a winner for the SBS Micro 3000 subwoofers. Uh, I, I don't have it yet. I don't have it on my computer <laughs> yet. Nervous. So I, I don't know. Is it going to come up on that big screen? Is that where I'm going to see it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get things ready here. I need this. <laughs> the uh, activity I, going I, on. Here. I gotta check. Ready, 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 ready. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Are we for the ready? winner of the SBS 3000? Two of them, micro 3000 subs. Uh, here we go. The winner's coming up on the screen. Ready, go. Cheryl P of Sacramento, oh! California. <laughs> Cheryl P. Oh, yeah. Hey, well 
Well done. Nice. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh, well done, team. Again with the confetti cannon. Cheryl P. of Sacramento, California. You are the winner of Woo. two SVS Micro 3000 subwoofers. Retro VHS says, woohoo! Scott says, congrats, Cheryl. Brent, why is that guy in the back creeping? Somebody saw <laughs> one of you guys. <laughs> Uh, nice party pops. We got compliments on the confetti cannons. Uh, very cool. <laughs> Throwdown says nice. If Cheryl, are you watching? I haven't seen you yet. I don't see you yet. On we're gonna watch it on Facebook, not on YouTube. So Cheryl. you don't have to be watching to win. Cheryl is still the winner. We will reach out to her and and send her. Uh, she's she's got her. Why am I still talking into the mic? Do it I, feels right. Do I still need to, I can't stop once I start. Landon, keep talking into the mic or stop. We're good. Okay. It sounds okay. Okay, I'll keep talking into the mic. Maybe I'll slow down and get... Cheryl you know, right? P. Yeah, get the vibe down here right now. Sacramento. Cheryl P. from Sacramento will be contacting you. You will... Oh, yeah, we're bringing in uh, an SP. Let's get this. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to move it. that. Don't want to move it. Okay. I'm going to put this somewhere. Here. Uh, okay, the mic's going to have to go. Oh. Because we have the SVS Micro 3000 sub. You going to do it? No, yeah. wait. You're going to... The what? The SVS Micro 3000 subwoofer featuring dual opposed 8 inch subs, 800 watts of power. Two of them, you're going to have your choice of this sub in black or white. Woo. You, heck, you could go black and white if you want to. Uh, but that's what Cheryl okay. P has won. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Two of them. Two Those of little them. little things, yeah. they are not understated. I will put it that way. Agreed. <laughs> I just had to do that again before I close this app. Uh, that was uh, a lot of fun. So, yes, it was. so uh, we absolutely love giving stuff away, and uh, we do have another sweepstakes coming soon. We don't have any plans on stopping that. No. Uh, as the more we can get uh, to give away to you, the better. Everybody yep. wins. The next sweepstakes um, is pretty cool. Uh, sponsored. I don't know if it's sponsored by, but it's uh, we're giving away some products by Philips Hue. All right. Now they make awesome like smart lights, uh, and it's going to be. Not just like a $50 light bulb. It's going to be a lot more than that. I don't have the details on every exact product, but it's going to be a group of things from Philips Hue. It's going to be cool, I'm sure. And you will be able to, uh, with Philips Hue, you can get lights set up on your phone so you can turn lights on and off with your Alexa, your Google, uh, Siri, whatever. Uh, set, set them on timers, time them out to your movies. You can add to your movie experience. You can mm -hmm. have lights go on and off to, you know, so people think you're home when you're not. I mean, it's just so cool what you can do with Philips Hue lights. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have uh, uh, a lot of them to give away multiple prize packs. Excellent. Multiple prize packs. So it won't be just one winner. It'll be five names. We're going to have five times as much confetti and sound effects next time. Okay. Uh, Is that a promise? So the sweepstakes doesn't start today. I'm just telling you about it today. So those of you watching today, you have advanced notice. You uh, have a leg up on anybody else that isn't watching. Watch next show, June 16th. That's two exact two weeks from right now, uh, starting at 4 p.m. So we do this every second Thursday, every other Thursday. That's when we'll be back. That's when we'll announce what exactly is in the Phillips prize pack uh, and how to get entered. We'll have a link and all of that. Then we'll probably do the code word thing and then we'll probably announce it. Uh, you know, So three episodes. Again, shameless plug. We want, we want more people watching Crutchfield yeah. Live. You're seeing how much fun we're having. It seems like a lot more fun is going on in the chat. Uh, we're having fun interacting with you and uh, this is really, really fun. Uh, it's a great way for us to sort of Talk about the fun stuff that we do, uh, yeah. touch people's lives, uh, and uh, it's it's great. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Any parting words before we're out of here, Abby? I, keep it coming. We Keep keep watching, keep tuning in. You're going to win. You're going to learn. You're going to have fun with us and us with you. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks again, everybody. Uh, we are out. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks with the Phillips Hue giveaway and some other fun stuff. Have a good one. my time